friends, it's Miss Kim again. Hope you guys are all doing well. This week, we're reading the book, The Mitten by Jan Brett. After reading the story with your child, here are some activities that you can do together to build large motor skills. The first one is called The Mitten Hunt. So I just went into my coat closet and found some mittens. Hopefully you can find some that match. Uh, you can also use gloves. So here's my pile of mittens, gloves. If you don't have those, either of those, you could use uh, a pair of socks. You could even use oven mitt. So that's whatever you have around the house. So let your child just kind of explore the mittens and then uh, you can decide what variation you want to do depending on the skill of your child and how you want to do it. You can just hide all of the mittens around the house. You can just do um, one of each pair and have them, um, it might help them to uh, know what they're kind of looking for. I suggest this one probably the most. Or you could just do one uh, at, and then say that you lost a mitten and that you need to go and find the other one. So it just depends on the directions of the child, depends on what their skill level is. The one I'm going to do uh, right now is we'll do uh, matching each of the pairs. So I'll say if you um, are hiding, you want it to be able to see that so that they can kind of see part of it. And then if they're not really wanting to participate, you can show them the other pair, take them over to it so it's close to it and they can kind of see it and then ask them to get it and match it. If they don't grab it, then you can do hand over hand and have them grab it with you and then you can tell them that they matched it and praise them and then you can go on to the next one. Um, you could maybe do it a few times until they get it and maybe they'll start doing it on their own. I don't know, but just have fun with it. Uh, the next activity is to act out the story. So you could use one of the mittens and you can act, up, act out the story by having them go into their room with their toys and find the animals, little small animals, hopefully if you can have, if you have those to put inside the mitten. So if you have the animals that are in the story would be the best, but if you don't, then you could just use what you have and then they can just put the little animal inside the mitten and act out the story. Uh, you could also have them uh, pretend that, you, that they are the animal and you could use a, a blanket as, a, as the mitten uh, or a sleeping bag or a pillowcase, something big enough that they could get in and under. Uh, even a box, empty box, or a tent that you have. Um, and you could have them pretend to be the raccoon that crawls under the mit in the mitten. You could have them be the owl that flies into the mitten. Um, a bunny that hops into the mitten. So use, doing those different uh, animal exercises and getting into the blanket or the or whatever you have. So those are my ideas um, for this week. So hope you get a chance to try them and you enjoy having uh, having fun with your child with that. And I will see you next week. I wish you well.